Today, friends, this is me, A.K. Optimist Amichi, one of the many voices talking about TBC around the globe. And this afternoon, today being um, the 28th day of the month of April 2021, I am gladly sharing this with you, and I'm happy that we are all doing our very possible best to make sure that what we are doing, we are not relenting. And a quick reminder, today is 28, tomorrow is 29, next tomorrow 30th. And you know what it means? End of the month. So we all should gear and get ready to make our program fee for the month of May and get our 100 TBC, okay? And for those who can, it's equally important that instead of making a monthly payment, why not do an advance payment of one year and get a discount of $50? and also get additional 500 TBC just for the month of April, which is already going, as you can see, just about uh, two, three days now, the month will be over. So this is a great opportunity for you to actually come on board and then make your payment, okay? To get your position secured for the core team members. Guys, we are working hard to make sure that that core team is actually pushed up to the number desired, 11,111. So, and if you are still doubting, I beg you not to doubt any longer because uh, with what we are having in the TBC community, I don't think it's obtainable elsewhere. You don't get it elsewhere. You talk about clarity, you talk about transparency, you talk about honesty, you talk about team working with one focus, you talk about virtually everything you can think of. We have it all included in the TBC community. All those who have tried other programs, who have tried other opportunities are all coming back bleeding, complaining, okay? You just look at it and you find out that you just have everything you needed to make a great opportunity. So don't worry about the fact that it seems like this TBC is taking long. It is not actually taking it long, but what we are building is something that is going to last long, okay? So because of that, you see it taking it slowly and steady. You see us doing it that way and the, Man at the helm of affairs, TBC admin, is actually doing his wonderful best and then making it to stand out that what we are doing cannot be compared to any other thing. I just want us to quickly take a look at some certain things that will actually help us to think and rethink and get ourselves into normalcy by not, you know, allowing anybody to talk us out of what we are doing because we know actually that what we are doing has to move, it has future, okay? So I want to quickly share my um, screen so that we just look at some certain things and then it will really help us to see that what we are saying is not just a kind of to cajole you and get your money and things like, no, okay? Take a look at this for instance, okay? I, is it, where is it found? Take a look at this, yeah. When you come to the marketing in your KCBO and you click on the call team, okay? When you click on that very area, let's just wait and see what will pop up. And then try to tell ourselves, well, it's already here. And then remind ourselves of the need that what we are doing is not just one of those things, okay? It's not one of those things that people are doing and they are complaining here and there. What we are doing has lasting future. What we are doing is superb. You cannot compare us to anything that is being done around the world today. TBC is just different in all its ways. Many people who are involved in different programs are complaining bitterly about one thing or the other, that they support, that the program, that the way they are doing things. But just, I am always open in whatever I'm doing. I have other things which I, you know, try my hands on and then try to see how things are going and the, how everything are going there. But in it all, you cannot compare it to what you have in the community. You can't just compare it in any way because uh, it is clearly open and clearly different. Okay, a quick look at this. Now, as you're looking at taking a look at my screen now, what you are seeing here is, look at this, look at this. Okay, let me just quickly show it to you just a quick one okay now what you are seeing here is new member training live 
that as we are saying new members streaming live what this simply means is that as i'm talking now you have a training going on whereby all the new members can actually come here guys make use of this and stop going about talking about what you don't know in tbc whether you are newly registered when you come here you're going to see what will enable you to push the community forward what will enable you to maximize the potential the great potential opportunity that you have in tbc and that is why we are telling you if you're a new member come here anytime any day okay new member training is always going on okay then if you are having a problem maybe you have any technical issue coming on board if you have something like that then this is the right place to be you come to member helper training okay go to member helper training live you see all of them live okay it's not a situation whereby you 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 go and we ask no oh, hold on we have about 100 people we have about one person we have about that wait till one hour wait till. no as you are going there they are answering you you even have the opportunity of even getting the contacts of the support members of the member helpers team you get their contact and then pull up at your own convenience tell me which other opportunity do you have something like this which other program or platform do you have something like this basically most of them their support is just existing for existing sake they can't even answer you when you are asking them to pay attention to what they're saying it's like to pay as if you're disturbing them but it's not so in TBC. And what is that pointing you to? That is pointing you that this is an opportunity. This is a platform whereby members are being put in the first place. Members are the lifeblood of what we are doing. And TBC, being what it is all about for the people, it's always showing it that it is actually for the people. So when you come here, you know, discover that there is no, nothing that you can, not get answers to is it when you just come on board you are going to see a, a, um, an interactive video okay asking you questions what and what do you need and it will still go a little bit far to help you out with some certain things okay now look at what i was just saying earlier on okay as to the reason why we can say that when it comes to transparency that tbc score the highest number there okay the highest vote now look at this. For those people who are still saying that uh, they are not sure how the community is being run and things like that, admin came up and told us about the need to build core team. And the core team is going to consist of 11,111 persons, okay? And uh, people are saying, okay, how do I know if I am on the core team? Okay, what about my own number? How is that number going to be? How, when do we know that the number has completed? People were like, so admin is just playing a fast one on us. Okay, we just keep on telling, you know, shifting the group, posting on our stories upon stories and things like that. But folks, when you come to your dashboard, your KCBO, go straight to the marketing and you're going to see call team. So when you click on call team, this is here, this is how I got here. When you click on call team, this, Thing is going to come up, okay? It will tell me my own. I'm a core team member, date I joined 2021, 20, um, March 1st. User payment information. To remain on the core team, your payment must be made with crypto and your account cannot expire. Cannot be expired, okay? So you see it here, last payment type, last payment date, expires on, you see everything, okay? So if you are on, on the core team and you are looking for where you belong, whether you are actually there, how is it that admin is telling us that the number we are having now is 1,000? Whereas from my own calculation, from my own guessing, we are already more than 5,000, and admin is still telling us that we are 1,000. Okay, if you are one of those who are thinking in that direction in such a way, please come down here, go to your KCBO, and go to marketing, go to core team, okay? Search for yourself, look at core team global list, okay? 
So if you want to know, I am one of the core team members. I want to know, admin, okay, you told us that we are not yet complete. Let me find out about my own name. You see, I just typed my name here on the search. And what do you see? This is me. My name popped up here. Okay? You see my name? You see it? Okay? So when we talk about transparency, we can give it all to the TBC community, to the admin of TBC, making everything to be very, very plain. Okay? So if you are still doubtful or you don't know how everything is going, just come down here. You're going to see names globally up to now, up to now we are having 3,103 entries, members who are on the core team. You have it country by country. You see it, Ivory Coast, Netherlands, Kenya, just like that. So don't be, come here, don't be among those who will be saying what they don't know, okay? If you want to also know how many people or who are those on particular uh, status, the advance payment people, those who are paying advance, those who have paid annually, current eligible one, later eligible one, you come to the future and just say, okay, advance payment. Here is going to bring out to you all those who have paid advance payment. That is of one year. Okay. Are you the one to go on to calculate and then tell admin you did not put this, you did not put that, you are going to get it all here and find out that uh, documentation beats conversation. And that is just as plain as that. So if you are one of those people who are taking TBC to be something else, to be one of those things out there, I bet you, please stop it and look at TBC as something real. Don't take TBC to be any one of these, okay? Don't take TBC to be um, network marketing, okay? Don't take TBC to be such. And don't take TBC again to be one who bring two, two who bring 10, 10 that did this, 10 that did this, no. TBC is just for the connection of it, how to spread it, that is why it goes that yes, all those you brought into the system or be connected somehow to you, not that you will be earning beyond the very first level of the people you brought into the community. So this is just a direct commission, a kind of status that the, the, the TBC is making things to work. So you don't compare TBC to any one of these things that you are seeing out there. You don't even at all, don't compare TBC to it, okay? TBC is out here building something of different, completely different, okay? And that's why we are telling people that when you come into the, the TBC, as soon as you get registered, please and please try as much as you can to come and learn from the horse's mouth, okay? Join the new members training and get educated. Ask questions and get answers to it, okay? And for those of you who are new members or those who are having technical challenges, when you contact any one of the member helpers to assist you, please make out your time to work with him or her. Because sometimes they will be asking you, please, have you gotten a response to the help deck that they assisted you to set up or to make? Okay? It's only when you work with them that you could be able to get your issues clearly resolved without having no, or without having taken unnecessary long. So let me quickly also show you this and then let you know that what we are doing here is special. Okay? Are you looking, look at this. This is United for Food, food subsidy centers coming soon to a city near you. This is something special, something that no other has even come across to even think of. You look at these clusters, that is how the cluster is going to be. Any particular region that come up, okay, less within Lagos State, we have a particular area that came up with a thousand members and that thousand members, they are going to have a food subsidy center whereby they'll be using part of their TBC and part cash to purchase things. Is that not wonderful? And when we also told you that 
admin says that each of these locations we have as from 1,000 and above, then how do we know when we get to, 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 to 1,000? The same thing that you see in the core team listing, because he's building a technology whereby each member that pays in a particular location will be recorded. recorded. So everything is just plain. Everything is just very open. Okay. Then you look at this again. Okay. Look at this. This is what you usually come across when you come to new member uh, presentation. Okay. When you come to the new member training, you are going to pass through all this. You will see this. Okay. About what the Klingo Society is all about, how they are set up to do things better, and then showing to you what. The reason why people have been suffering because we've been made to believe in scarcity, even though when we have a lot, okay, you also be exposed to some interesting uh, videos to back it up, okay? That videos that will really help you to really think and tell yourself the truth. Let's quickly just see one of them, okay? Let me just play this. Let me just quickly see this, okay? Just a, a quick one, quick one though. Okay. Sorry. Let's just for, for for clarity. I just want to play some of these videos that we regularly see whenever we come to the new member training. Okay. See part of the things that TBC is telling us, and we are seeing it the way they are. Listen to this. People are talking a lot about inequality these days about the fact that the richest 1% have so much more than everybody else. But most of the focus seems to be on the United States. And it strikes me that the same story needs to be told about global inequality too. So I did some research, and this is what I found from reliable sources like the UN. It turns out that while the US is totally out of whack, things are actually way worse for the planet as a whole. Let's start with this graph, a perfectly even distribution of wealth among all living people with everyone divided into five equal groups. Now, let's show how much each group actually has. Shocking, right? 80% of the world's people barely have any wealth. It's hard to even see them on the chart. Meanwhile, the richest 2%, they have more wealth than half of the rest of the world. Let's look at this chart another way. Let's take the whole world's population, all seven billion of us, and reduce it to just a representative 100 individuals. Here they are, poorest people on the left, richest people on the right. Now let's show how the world's total wealth, roughly $223 trillion, is distributed. The vast majority have practically nothing, nothing with which to educate their children, nothing with which to pay for basic medicines, while the richest 1%, they've accumulated 43% of our world's wealth. The bottom 80%, meanwhile, and that's eight out of every 10 people, have just 6% between them. But even this doesn't really show how extreme things have become. The richest 300 people on Earth have the same wealth as the poorest 3 billion. So the number of people it takes to fill a mid-sized commercial aircraft have more wealth than the populations of India, China, the US and Brazil combined. We can also see this difference geographically, with a huge and growing gap between a few rich places versus the majority of the world. For most of history, things were much more equal. 200 years ago, rich countries were only three times richer than poor countries. By the end of colonialism in the 1960s, they were 35 times richer. Today, they're about 80 times richer. Rich countries try to compensate for this by giving aid to poor countries, about $130 billion each year. That's a lot of money. So then why does the wealth gap keep getting bigger? One reason I found is that large corporations are taking more than $900 billion out of poor countries each year through a form of tax avoidance called trade mispricing. On top of this, each year, poor countries are paying about $600 billion in debt service to rich countries on loans that have already been paid off many times over. And then there's the money that poor countries lose from trade rules imposed by rich countries to get access to more resources and cheaper labor. Economists from the University of Massachusetts calculate that this costs poor countries about $500 billion a year. Altogether, that's more than $2 trillion that flows from some of the poorest parts of the world to the richest. 
every year. Rich governments like to say they're helping poor countries develop, but who's developing who here? This makes me think that there's something wrong with the basic rules of the global economy. It can't be okay that the wealth of our planet is becoming so concentrated in the hands of such a tiny number of people. The only reasonable response, it seems to me, and our only hope, is to change the rules. There, you just see it. The only reasonable response and the only something that can get past the ones to the thinking, right thinking people say is to change the rules. And then what we are always telling here and then help people to understand is that the kind of currency, the kind of situation we're supposed to prolong have not actually be doing what we're supposed to, what he ought to be doing. It's just like the cloth you are wearing. When you notice that what you have is no longer serving the needed purpose, which you got it for, what you need to do is to change. And that is what you are going to be learning whenever you come to the training, whenever you come to the training, especially the new members training. You're going to see all these reasons why what we are doing here matters. And the reason why you need to say no to being in darkness, okay? Because TBC will really expose you to the reason why you need to see things the way they are, okay? So I will also quickly just uh, quickly show you this. And then you just fight for yourself and then agree with me that yes, when we understand clearly what money is, we have every right possible, every right to say that, yes, we have our own currency. Why? Because that currency is going to change things and the way it's already doing. So let me just quickly show you this, okay? Just a quick one also, that will clearly show you what we are doing. You owe me $50, but uh, I'll accept that in Bitcoin, Feathercoin, Litecoin, or Coinye West. LTAT. Good mythical morning. What is this worth to you, Link? Uh, I'd say $20, Rhett. And why is that worth to you, $20? Because it says 20 on it. And why does that matter to you? What? Why is it valuable to you? Because the person I give it to to get the thing I want also agrees that it's what I'm getting from them is worth $20. That's Because the person I give it to get the thing I want also agrees that it's worth $20. Remember, we are talking about money being a mutual agreement. Currency. That's currency. K class dismissed. No, okay. All right. So that, I'm a current dude. Uh, you may know that we went off the gold standard at some point in the United States of America, meaning that a dollar does not represent some actual gold somewhere. Fort Knox. Now it is just the government says this is worth $20. Okay, and enough people agree, and it becomes worth something, and other governments agree, you get it. Now, right. cryptocurrency, you probably heard lots about Bitcoin. Everybody's talking about Bitcoin, this, Bitcoin, that. You gotta invest in Bitcoin if you wanna get rich like And this Bitcoin has been the reason why so many people are getting ripped off. All know that they want to make it big, I want to start trading, I want to start doing that, doing that, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but just listen, and then get the sense of what we are doing here. Okay, that's by the way. Harvard, you hear about Harvey? He bought a Bitcoin and now he's a millionaire. <laughs> that's what I heard back home when I was in North Carolina over Christmas. Really? Yeah, Bitcoin's this, Bitcoin's that. And so I'm like, well, what is this stuff? I hear it in the news, it's called cryptocurrency. Now, the key difference between $20, yep, we got that. And, uh, and cryptocurrency is the fact that this is backed by a central government. In other words, there's a bank you can have it, sure. Listen very carefully and understand what we are talking about. These two versions of money, crypto or digital versus fiat money. Listen. It's fake. It's worth nothing to me because it's not backed up by gold. No, I want that <laughs> back. Uh, there's a central bank, a government-backed bank that has created that money, right? Yes. That issues that money. Yes. And so, the stable thing like the United States government says that this is worth a certain thing, but cryptocurrency, it's just like me and you on the side and we're like, hey, you wanna start some money? Yeah, man, I've been thinking I wanna start money. We can call it Red Link dollars or I don't, Red Link coin. I don't have a printer, so that's No, no, a we problem. don't even need that. It can just all be totally digital, man. Bingo. 
That's we'll right. call it Rent Link Coin, and it'll be totally digital. And me and you will decide you how many it. of it's going to be made and what it's worth. Now, listen, listen. I'm just listening very well to understand what we are saying. What about just Link Coin? I don't want to do that. Let's make it Rent Link Coin. We're stronger together, buddy. Stick with me here. And then we go out and we say, hey, you guys want to invest in Rent Link Coin? You want some Rent Link Coin? And we call it Link Coin for short. Hey, this guy over here, we convinced this guy over to here to sell to sell his, his feed for his horses in Rent Link Coin. Got lots He's of accepting Rent Link Coin. feed people. And then all of a sudden, you've got this network of users who've all agreed that Rent Link Coin is worth something, and then it becomes worth something. Does that make sense? The, it's basically worth something because because people have agreed in a network have agreed that it is worth something, but it's just digital. So see just digital. Many people have come to agree and that the worst on, but it's just digital. That is what we are seeing in Bitcoin today. And folks, may I just tell you, this is what you are missing. If you are a new member and you don't attend the meeting to learn, okay? To learn and they get properly educated and then expose you to the reason why we need to tell you that yes, what we are doing we are not just telling you stories. We are not just one of those fly overnight uh, opportunities that are just come there to rip people off and up they go with different names. No, no. Because what we are having in TBC here is something different, completely different. And we have proven, okay, that we have something much, much bigger and different ways, okay? So you will see that by going to that meeting, you will understand in full details what this training is all about, okay? And the reason why we are calling people now to come into TBC is that we are busy now with the top of organization. We are feeling the top, and that is the billionaire status here. So all the people who will be here are 1 million, 111,000, 111 members. And that is the main focus now that we are doing. I'll just be briefly, <coughs> excuse me, be briefly touching on this, okay? Yes, says. Position yourself, receive up to 500,000 a month in Bitcoin in getting position on the rotator. That is, when you get position on this place called rotator, you'll be having over 500,000 as the community continue to improve, to continue to increase. And what on earth do you think will make them to continue to, to, to improve? It is only when they see that, yes, Becoming a member of the Kingo community goes with much, much, much benefit. You see that people will be happily paying their program fee. And now, on that rotator, we are just having how many here? 111,111 members that meet the monthly requirement, requirements will be placed on the rotator. So I just want you, please, if you're a new member, come to the new members training and learn and understand and feel free to ask questions and get it answered because what we are doing, we are always helping people to understand that yes, with TBC, we know that our path is actually very, very different. And that is the one confidence that we have. You, you, you ask questions, you, you make findings about what we are. Don't go looking for all in the market cap, coin market cap, no, we are private. Private digital economy. TBC coming up with something huge. So please make your time available and don't go listening to those who are confused. Don't go listening to those who don't have anything to say. Come to the meeting. And again, for those of you, if you, um, let me quickly show you this. This very meeting here, we have series of meetings, okay? So when you log into your KCBO and you come here, come on dashboard, okay? Let me just start it afresh. Come on, that's why you come to meetings. When you click on meeting, you see mass adoption training. This meeting go on every day, Monday to Friday, 4 p.m. West Africa. Okay? So look at the link. This is the Zoom link. And when you come here, don't bring any technical issue here. Okay? Don't come here saying that you pay and your payment was this. And no, you have where to go. And that is these meetings. Okay? So try to be on the right meeting. So they are, these are the place, a new member, or you have any issue, member help our training. So for, for this very meeting, you will learn how you'll be making enough income, exposing the opportunity we have in TBC. And then when you log in, you're going to see this also. I made mention of this earlier on about the interactive video that helps people to understand what they're doing and then ask them questions. And then look at this. Let me just show you. Okay, 
just coming up. Welcome to your dashboard inside of the Kringle Cashback Office. I have so many exciting things to show you, I hardly know where to begin. Perhaps you can guide me in what interests you most by selecting one of these categories. You are just seeing it, welcoming you, and now giving you option. Where do you want to get more clarification about? Where do you want to? Just all you need to do is just, once you click on it and you hear her start talking, telling you everything about it, listen. Okay. On the timer, for instance. Before we start our tour of your Kringle Cashback, Network, not again. Office, KCBO is a short way of saying this. Do you okay, so you, you, you will start to get more of this, okay? You start to understand more of this by just coming Do you see an you. active timer running right now? So you just see it. And also, when you come to this very area and come to marketing, there's another feature, PDF guides. And this place is going to take you to how you can present this very opportunity to others. There was a role play about this some time ago, whereby admin even has to pay some members who volunteer to do the role play. So everything we are talking about here, just for you to understand that TBC is not to be compared with any other things out there. Let people come on board and help build this serious economy because people will be seeing that, yes, with what we are having here, it is not obtainable out elsewhere. It is not just obtainable anywhere you can think of because we have something, something really, really different, something as huge as this. So it's a great opportunity and a call to people who want to see things done differently. So when you, when you click on this area, you will see the new, the text message that you change the world, the text message that you change how we do things. In fact, there are so many things that people are still yet to understand about TBC. It's only gonna be possible if they are very themselves, okay? So I just have to take it this way, but all I'm saying and all I am just saying is that people should try to learn and hear from the right source and stop being carried away by those who don't know what they're doing. Folks, it's been a wonderful time. Let's make our time to understand what we are doing. Let's make our time and then tell people that we have the best, okay? Thank you so much. This is your friend, a capitalist. Bye for now.